Welcome to this session on iterative solution of simultaneous equations using TK Solver. This will be the first in a series on this topic. We'll begin by showing the uh, use of the built-in iterative solver and the optimizer for iterative calculations. We have a set of equations here dealing with the geometry of a cone. These five equations uh, solve directly uh, for certain sets of inputs, such as uh, volume and radius being known. Uh, TK Solver looks at each equation, and if the equation has only one unknown, it can solve it. And if it solves an equation, it attempts to use it in subsequent equations. Uh, if it learns anything on a pass through the rule sheet, it'll make a subsequent pass to see if it can learn more. A certain scenario uh, can lead to a set of equations that has no uh, equations in it that can be solved. So we have five unknowns, five equations, but none of them has only one unknown. In this situation, uh, TK Solver has a built-in iterative solver that can be used. This is one of several iterative methods that could be used. And the way we invoke that is by indicating that one of the variables in one of the rules should be made a guess. What that will do is it will cause one of the rules to have only one unknown. It will then solve that equation. It will then pass through the rest of the equations, solving them. Eventually, it will determine an equation where there's an inconsistency, where this value 3 causes uh, the set of equations to be inconsistent. It will then iterate on that guess value until there is no inconsistency in the equations anymore. So when I solve, it iterated on the value of the radius and gave us a solution. The iterative solver uh, uses a modified Newton-Raphson method. It's very fast. Uh, for more details on it, you can go to the uh, online documentation. A second method that can be used is to use the optimizer that is available with TK Solve. We'll go back to this scenario again. We know the volume and the radius it solves this problem directly. We get a value of a slant. Now, we could use the optimizer to determine the value of the radius such that the slant becomes 8.5. The way we set up the optimizer go to the Commands menu, set up optimizer. We'll tell it that our target variable is slant. We'd like to set it to a particular value, 8.5, by changing radius. When we click the Optimize button, it says an optimal solution has been found. And when we look, we see that to the um, accuracy of the optimizer, the slant has become 8.5 at a value of the radius of 3.10741. The optimizer uh, works as a shell around the mathematical model, continually trying new values of the change variables until the target variable achieves the objective. Now this ends the first session.